Hello my beautiful viewers and subscribers near and far welcome back to my kitchen and today I'll be doing brown stew fish with mashed potato and let's get started my fish I've got two lovely snapper right here and I'm going to wash my hands and then I'm going to start my seasoning process. Okay guys, what I'm going to do over here, I've got my fish seasoning. So I'll be using one teaspoon fish seasoning. All purpose seasoning. Onion powder. Jack seasoning. Black pepper. Garlic powder. All these, I'm going to mix them all together, that they all combine together, and I'm going to use this seasoning to season my fish. I won't be able to leave my fish to marinate because I'm showing you guys from start to finish. But when, you, when you're preparing this dish at home in your own kitchen, then you can leave it to marinate for 24 hours. Season it, put it in the container with a cover, leave it in your fridge for 24 hours. Take it out 10 minutes before cooking. Okay. So let's start my seasoning process. So guys, please season my fish with me please cook with me okay look guys my fish is all clean really clean my two nice size snapper fish are clean so I'm just gonna start my seasoning I've put a little Put there so I can apply the season straight into my fish and over here there's one too so I'm just applying the season straight into my fish just in case you are wondering why I've got my fish I leave my head on but you can remove the head if you want to remove it it's entirely up to you or if you want to keep the head but I'm keeping the head
My fish is feeding seasoning, so let me wash my hands. And guys, my fish is finished seasoning. So over a year, I've got some vegetable oil. That's my vegetable oil what I'm using. And like I said, I like vegetable oil, so I use vegetable oil. But you can use oil of your own choice. That's entirely up to you. So I'm using some vegetable oil. So this oil, I'm just going to check to see if it's hot because I've put it to heat up while I'm seasoning my fish. So... I'm just going to turn up the heat a little bit so that my oil can be hot. Then once my oil is hot, I'll start my frying my fish. So over here, these are all the ingredients what I'm going to use to cook my fish. Once I finish frying my fish, then I'm going to show you what's next I'm about to do. So these are my ingredients what I am going to use. So I've got vegetable peppers right here, red, green, and yellow, carrots, tomato, onions, garlic, thyme, hot scotch bonnet pepper. I go easy on the pepper because I don't like my food to be too fiery. And this pepper is very hot. Right here, I've got my okra. For all those who don't know what okra is, just go do a research on okra. Okra is very good for our health. And I'm planning on making an okra punch to show you guys how good okra is. But I'm not quite ready for making that punch yet, but I am going to make an okra punch. It's called Big Men Punch. So I'm just testing my oil to see if my oil is hot before I put my fish in. And my oil is hot, so I am going to put my fish to fry. And I'm going to do it the way how exactly this, this is the way how my mom teach me to cook. One head up and one head down. That's how my mom teach me to cook. The sky, my fish is frying and it's looking really good. So I'm just going to turn my fish over on the next side. Oh, look at that. Really, really looking good. That's just one of them, yeah, they're about ready for turning. Oh, wow, look at them. Really looking really, really good. And guys, looking really good. Guys, over here, there's some boiled potato ready for mushroom. And that's what's going to go with my feet. And I also got a bit of this colour to put on the side. My, guys my fish is ready look at it it's all looking really good it's all fried and it's ready now for brown stew guys i'm gonna add all my vegetables in this bowl And I've got some green seasoning, so I'm going to add a little bit of my green seasoning. I'm going to add a little bit of my browning. And I'm 
going to add a little bit of my soy sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of my hot pepper sauce. And I'm just going to stir it all, stir it, give it a stir so all my ingredients combined together. I did not add my soy sauce or my browning. I did not use it to season my fish because I did not want my fish to get burned so that it can have a very unpleasant taste. I want to enjoy my fish when it's finished cook. So I prefer to do it this way. So guys, I'm just going to empty out it all in my pan. And I'm just going to give it a stir. Look at that. That is looking really, really good. Wow. I put my okra. Smell really good. So, guys, I'm just gonna turn it all out in this pan. I'm going to cook it in this pan instead. Look at that guy, that is looking absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to set my two fish like that. And then I am going to add a bit of boiling water. I'm just adding my boiling water, just enough water to cover my fish and then I'm going to leave my fish to cook. Look at my brown stew fish, it's all looking good so I'm just going to leave it to cook. Oh look at that. That is looking really, really good. This is all ready. Look at the gravy. Gravy is all looking good. And fish is looking good. Look at that. Wow. So it's all ready, guys. So I'm going to put the heat out. My potato is all here. So I'm just going to cream my potato with some flora. Margarine, you can use whatever butter you like, but I like my flora, so I'm gonna cream my potato with a bit of flora. Guys, this is my potato mush, so I'm gonna use it to mash my potato.
potato is are combined together with the butter and my potato is looking good so that's all. just finishing it off with a fork guys i'm gonna have a taste of my brown stew fish mashed potato and vegetables and i will tell you exactly what i think well this is full of flavor when i say flavor i mean flavor absolutely nice Mmm, 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 mm. very damn, mm -mm. very nice. Mmm, very nice. Guys, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Couple, like and share. Subscribe to my channel. Guys, I've worked really hard to prepare this meal, so please support me. Please subscribe to my channel, and I shall see you soon in my next video. Love you guys, and please try this recipe and leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you're getting on. Love you guys, see you. Bye.